So we're going to talk about how to use um, the different criterion to make sure that you can score seven or eight um, on communicating criterion C in mathematics. So um, the first one, there are five things that you need to be able to do properly and to do them really well. Okay, so the first one is to consistently use appropriate mathematical language. So that's really looking at the terms all of the words, um, vocabulary words, that we used during the unit and writing about them and also defining them in the context of what you're doing or saying. Okay, so that's the first one that I would just make a checklist and go through and make sure that you've used all of the words, but don't just use them wherever you feel like. Make sure you use them within the correct context. You're using them appropriately. The second one will be use different forms of mathematical representation to consistently present information correctly. So we've talked about what mathematical forms are. Okay, so forms are really, um, they are models. They are like the algebra tiles that we were just using. They're models. They are equations, formulas, um, graphs, tables. So those are all different types of forms of mathematics. Um, so just to make sure that you are using multiple different types of representation to present your information, okay? So models, equation, formulas, graphs, tables, to try to use about three or four different forms would get you a seven, eight in year three. That could look something like this. So I see a nice organized table. I see equations here. Um, I see organized information. All of these things are really nice forms of mathematics. Um, that's only a couple things, though, a table and some formulas and some calculations. Calculations can also be a form. Okay, but let's see if we can add on another one. There you go. So there's a really nice, clearly labeled graph. It's got the axes labeled. Um, it's big enough so that I can read everything. Um, yeah, and it's stretched out so that it's, it's easy to read. It's nice, the graph is labeled. Um, it's really clear, clearly and well done. All right, so now this is one that's a bit tricky for some of us, is move effectively between different forms of mathematical representation. So what that looks like, move effectively between different forms, is exactly like this. Um, this is a perfect example. So this student said, he said, okay, there's going to be a graph coming up. He said, a graph is a good way to see the direct variation in the products. Direct variation is one of the terms that we, one of the vocabulary words. I will put both products on one graph to see which one is cheaper and to see if they're really proportional. So explaining why am I going to be using a graph? Why are graphs important? If they are not proportional, I will see which one is cheaper. So he's now explained what he's going to do with this graph. And now the graph is labeled. Again, it's clear, it's easy to read, and we can see the graph. Now he's going to talk about the graph. The blue line is the cost of my smaller product to the size. The green line is the cost of my larger product to the size. So describing what is represented in the graph and then seeing what is able to be compared in the graph is also good. As you can see, the bigger product costs less. The more you need, the less it costs if you take the bigger product. If you use a smaller product, you will have to pay a little bit extra. So if you can tell, um, he's gone from talking about a graph, what a graph is, showing the graph, and then interpreting the graph. So this is an excellent, excellent example of moving between different forms. And this needs to be carried throughout the entire report. Communicating through lines of reasoning that are complete and coherent. So a really good way to do this is just to double 
check and reread your report or assessment. Okay, so to really make sure you reread it and ask yourself, does this make sense? Hmm, could I write this a better way that will be more complete and more coherent? So using complete sentences. And lastly, just presenting work that's consistently organized using a logical structure. So think about in, um, in the task that's given to you, what should come first? Second, third, etc. Which should be first, which should be second, which should be third, and just to continue and follow that logical structure. 